Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Wackenfeld, the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority, here with another of our weekly reef health updates. The aerial survey team have completed seven of the nine days, and even though those surveys are not yet complete, we can confirm that the Great Barrier Reef is experiencing its third mass coral bleaching event in five years. The surveys so far have delivered a wide variety of different results from the more than 800 reefs already surveyed. So some reefs that have been surveyed have had no bleaching whatsoever, right through to reefs with very severe bleaching with 80% or more of the corals observed being bleached. Now it's important to remember that bleached coral is stressed, but it is not dead and it won't necessarily die. Generally speaking, on reefs that are uh, in the minor or moderate severity category, we would expect most of those corals to survive and recover from the bleaching, but it's the reefs in the more severe bleaching categories where we would expect higher levels of coral mortality. In the far north of the Great Barrier Reef, many of the coastal reefs that experienced moderate or severe bleaching in 2016 and or 2017 are also experiencing moderate or severe bleaching again in 2020. So in other words, many of those reefs are bleaching for the third time. Equally, there are areas, particularly in the southern half of the marine park, where there are reefs that did not bleach in 2016 or 17 that are now experiencing moderate or severe bleaching. So experiencing bleaching for the first time in recent years. It's really important to note that some of the key tourism areas, particularly in the northern and central Great Barrier Reef, have only shown moderate bleaching. And so once again, at that level of bleaching, we would be hopeful that most of the corals on those reefs will recover and survive this bleaching event. It's also important to remember that as concerning as many of these results are, it is definitely not all bad news. So remember that all of the offshore reefs from Cairns North up into the Torres Strait had little or no bleaching. And there are still many reefs in the southern part of the park that have little or no bleaching this year and also did not bleach in 2016 or 2017. So there is still a very varied and mixed picture of the severity of the bleaching that's out there in the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. Thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week with another Great Barrier Reef Reef Health Update.